talking billions of dollars here. It's, it's big, big money. And uh, presently, about four companies control approximately 80% of the world export grain markets. So, uh, you know, they seem to uh, have a government now in Canada that's very friendly to their position. And so they seem to be really moving forward and, and, and stepping on farmers' uh, 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 ability to, to democratically put people and, and a marketing agency in place. You can't take a, you know, a billion dollars out of the Western Canada's economy without it hurting something. So uh, yeah, it absolutely, I mean, there's gonna be jobs lost instantly in Winnipeg, obviously. You know, that's the, the uh, Manitoba economy is gonna you know, really take this one on the chin. Uh, the Port of Churchill will more than likely just pretty much shut down. So uh, yeah, there's going to be job losses, and then just my ability as as a farmer and, and all farmers is if we have less money in our genes, uh, we just spend less money. That's it's pretty simple. So uh, yeah, it's going to have a trickle down effect. That's that's going to be fairly significant. We're going to lose uh, obviously the single desk. So there's going to be that loss of money. Uh, transportation costs are probably going to rise on, and that would be across the board because the wheat board has the ability. Uh, because it's such a big player in the market that it affects the cost of transporting all grains and oil seeds in Western Canada. So our transportation costs will go up. Uh, producer car, the, the ability to load producer cars may stay, but any amount of dollars that farmers now make won't be there. They will disappear because as of uh, 2012, everything will be non-board. So, uh, so uh, that will be lost. So of course then short line rails, their reason for existence will come into question. Uh, advocacy at uh, WTO, uh, at, you know, uh, through those talks will, will, uh, will be gone. The Wheat Board was also uh, very much involved uh, uh, where Monsanto tried to uh, introduce Roundup Ready Wheat. It's available, it's on the shelf. And the Wheat Board went and, and, and talked to our customers and they says, no, we're not ready for that. So the Wheat Board said, no, uh, we don't really need uh, wheat, uh, Roundup Ready wheat at the present moment because our customers don't want it. So why have this? So it was stopped. So I think that's very important too. And, and with, without the wheat board there, would we have that? Would we have markets that would be closed now to Canadian wheat? And would consumers have a good, safe product to eat is also going to be in question. There is lots of young people that really do support the Canadian Wheat Board. It's not like there isn't any, uh, but you know, there's that uh, you know, just that that little bit of a romantic feeling that you know, I'm my own boss, and 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 really, sometimes it just takes a little while to really get your eyes opened as to really the way that uh, the agriculture, the whole of agriculture, works. And uh, working together with my neighbor works a lot better than going it alone. This is our Canadian Wheat Board. It's not anybody else's. We pay for it. It's ours. And so we should have the right to decide its future. That's what happened in Ontario. Uh, you know, and, and the farmers actually got to vote on that. And uh, so we want the same right. And uh, so uh, that's really what, what, we, what uh, we're asking the federal government to do is, is to really, uh, Jerry Rich said before the election that he was going to honour and accept and respect farmers' decision, and that was done through our Canadian Wheat Board Board of Directors. As soon as the election was over, he forgot about that. He changed his mind. So we're hoping that he changes his mind again, and that farmers get out, find out how this is going to affect them, and the possible negative ramifications it's going to cause. Not just for all of you know. It's it's really on a personal level. This is going to hurt people's bottom line.